السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته مسز هبة معكم ميدل تو هاو ار يو اي مس يو سو ماتش ميدل تو ليتس كونتينيو ذا لاست ليسن ان يونت 1 الكترولايزس اوف ووتر فيرست فيديو What is the device used to electrolyze electrolysis of water? Hoffman voltmeter. Hoffman's voltmeter is used to carry out electrolysis of water. The assembly consists of three cylinders joined together by a connecting tube. The middle cylinder is connected to a reservoir at the top. Two side cylinders are fitted with different stoppers. At the bottom of two side cylinders, Platinum plates attached to platinum wires called platinum electrodes are introduced. The extended platinum wires are connected to a battery. The mixture of water and an electrolyte such as dilute sulfuric acid, which makes water a good conductor of electricity, is introduced from the top of the reservoir into the assembly. When electric current is applied, Water in the solution partially dissociate into H plus and OH minus ions, while sulfuric acid dissociates completely to give 2H plus and SO4 2 minus ions. The H plus ions migrate to cathode, and OH minus and SO4 2 minus ions migrate to anode through the connecting tube. At anode, concentration of OH minus ions is too low to maintain the reaction. And SO4 2 minus ions do not oxidize easily. So water molecules at anode take part in the reaction by releasing four electrons and get oxidized to give four H plus ions along with oxygen which is released in the form of gas. While these H plus ions migrate to cathode, and electrons travel through the external circuit to cathode. At cathode, four hydrogen ions gain four electrons coming from anode and get reduced to give two moles of hydrogen which are released in the form of gas. Continuous electrolysis of water produces more and more hydrogen and oxygen gases. The reaction taking place at anode is 2H2O, gives O2 gas, plus 4H plus, plus four electrons. And reaction taking place at cathode is 4H plus, plus four electrons, <laughs> gives 2H2 gas. Thus, the overall cell reaction becomes 2H2O gives 2H2 gas plus O2 gas. طبعا هنا حبايبي احنا خدنا الكترولايزس اوف ووتر الايكويجن دي دي بس ما خدناش دول لكن ما فيش مشكله ان احنا يعني ناخدهم فور الستريشن بس يعني. يلا ليتس كونتينيو. This reaction indicates that the amount of hydrogen gas produced is double than oxygen gas. This is also confirmed by the decreasing levels of water in the cylinders during electrolysis, indicating hydrogen gas present in right cylinder and oxygen in left cylinder. The presence of particular gas is confirmed when a lighted matchstick is brought closer to the cylinders. Gas present in the right cylinder burns the matchstick with a barking sound indicating the gas to be hydrogen. Similarly, near the left side cylinder, matchstick burns with a bright flame, indicating the gas to be oxygen. حبايبي هنا بيتكلم how to test the gases produced, يعني oxygen مثلا, increase the glowing flame. H2 مثلا بيعمل ايه? Bob sound. تمام? Gen. Summary. Thus, electrolysis of water, along with an electrolyte such as dilute sulfuric acid, produces hydrogen and oxygen gases. Okay. Let's answer some questions. During the electrolysis of water, the electro uh, the electrodes 
used are made up of platinum plates, graphite, copper, silver. Taban platinum plate. Next. In order to increase the conductivity of water, what added to water? <laughs> what is added? Sodium chloride, magnesium chloride, copper sulfate, uh, dilute sulfuric acid, taban dilute sulfuric acid to increase the conductivity of water. The complete reaction taking place at the anode is what? Taban, I'm going to take a look at the video of the video. 2H2O produce O2 plus 4H positive plus 4 electrons. تمام. If a lighted uh, matchstick is brought uh, near a cylinder containing what gas? It starts burning with a bright flame. طبعا carbon dioxide or hydrogen or nitrogen or oxygen. طبعا oxygen. Why? Because oxygen increases the flame. Glowing of the, the flame, but uh, hydrogen give pop sound. The amount, the amount of hydrogen present in water is double of the amount of wood of oxygen, and this is indicated by what? Indicated by the reaction, or the difference of water level, or this reaction, or A and B. A and B, in the difference of water level, that we have a cause. The difference in amount of hydrogen or oxygen gas. True or false? The oxygen gas burns the match stick with a sputtering sound. And this is the right side of the Not oxygen, but hydrogen. False sound. The electrolysis of water is carried out in what device? Hoffman voltmeter. Okay, next. Second. A slide about atmospheric layer. This is the first lesson in unit one. Let's start first video. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. First video Here's about layers of between atmosphere. Between the four atmospheric layers which envelope the Earth. Okay. The troposphere is the first layer in the atmospheric layers, which is known as the disturbance layer. The stratosphere is the second one, known as the ozonic layer. The mesosphere is the third one, known as the coldest layer. And the troposphere is the fourth and last layer. And it's known as the hottest or the thermal layer. a comparison between layers of atmospheric envelope. طبعا دي coldest layer دي hottest layer ليه طبعا أكيد عشان temperature لسه نقول دلوقتي. The troposphere extends about 13 kilometers above the sea level and the air in it moves vertically. The stratosphere layer extends from 13 to 50 kilometers above sea level and the air in it moves horizontally. The mesosphere extends from 50 to 85 kilometers above sea level. And the thermosphere extends from 85 to 675 kilometers above sea level. The temperature in the troposphere decreases by 6.5 degrees Celsius for each kilometer height till it reaches negative 60 degrees Celsius at its top. The temperature in the stratosphere remains constant at negative 60 degrees Celsius at the lower part then increases gradually to zero degrees Celsius. The mesosphere temperature decreases and reaches negative 90 degrees Celsius at its top. And the thermosphere's temperature increases rapidly when we go higher until it reaches 1,200 degrees Celsius. The atmospheric pressure in the troposphere reaches 100 millibars at its top. In the stratosphere, the atmospheric pressure reaches 1 millibar. And in the mesosphere, the atmospheric pressure reaches 0.01 millibar. The troposphere contains 75% of the atmospheric mass and 99% of the atmospheric water vapor. Most of the ozonic gas is found in the stratosphere layer concentrated between 20 to 40 kilometers. In the mesosphere, there are limited amounts of helium and hydrogen gases only. And the thermosphere contains charged ions in its upper parts. 
let's uh, continue the second or the third third video about atmosphere the atmosphere is a mixture of gases surrounding earth and it's attracted to it by the effect of gravitational force let's click each icon to know the components of the atmosphere Number one, click components. The atmosphere is composed of a mixture of gases surrounding Earth, such as nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide, and other gases. Nitrogen represents 78% of the atmosphere, and oxygen represents 21% of the atmosphere. However, carbon dioxide and other gases such as water vapor, argon, and helium represent only 1% of the atmospheric volume. <laughs> What is the importance of atmosphere? Let's know. The atmosphere surrounds Earth, protecting it by absorbing the harmful ultraviolet rays, which come from <sighs> outer space. It also adjusts the temperature of Earth's surface. Despite the large amounts of air pollutants, such as dust, particles, smoke, and gases in air, they are used in the condensation of water vapor and the falling of rain or snow. Okay. Let's move to the second uh, time to answer questions and fun. First, first uh, question about atmosphere. The atmospheric pressure at the sea level, what millibar? Huh? 1013.25. Uh, this is the normal. Atmospheric pressure. Next. The density of air what by increases the elevation above the sea level? Density of air what when we uh, move to up decreases. The what layer contains the charged ions and it has an important role in what? What layer? Taban? I may call it charged ions. Min ismaha ionosphere. Uh, important role in, in wireless communication. Atmosphere extend from 13 kilometer to 50 kilometer. Right. Stratosphere, sorry. Pilots refer uh, pilots re prefer to fly in the in the mesosphere. No. In what stratosphere? The temperature decreases in what layer? Trobo, strato, meso, thermosphere, taban. Troposphere and mesosphere. This is the coldest layer. Match between the two columns. Van Allen belts, ozone layer, ionosphere. Van Allen belts, important in wireless communication, absorption of ultraviolet rays, scattering harmful charged cosmic radiations. Van Allen or charged cosmic radiations. Ozone layer absorption of ultraviolet rays. This is the importance of ozone layer. Uh, protect living organisms. Ionosphere important in wireless communication. Choose the old one. What is the old one? This is the old one. Next, next activity to complete all activities. Hmm. The temperature increased till 1,200 Celsius in what taban the, the last layer layer called thermosphere. In the troposphere, the temperature decreases by what Celsius each one kilometer taban 6.5. As the elevation above sea level decreases, the atmospheric pressure taban increase. Mesosphere is much vacuumed, true or false, taban true. This is a specific yani, property. Stratosphere protects the Earth's planet from rocks, masses that enter the atmospheric envelope. Stratosphere, what do you No, Akid the mesosphere. In, in the stratosphere, the temperature increases from what to zero? From what? From minus 60. 
O1 تروبوسفير اوزون ستراتوسفير ميزوسفير اكيد اوزون نيكست اكتيفيتي Altimeter, this is device, is used to, to determine elevation in airplanes, no, uh, right or no, there is altimeter or uh, devices of barometers, altimeter is used to determine elevation in airplane, uh, the second device called the aneroid, the atmospheric envelope of the earth extend 10,000 kilometer, no, Taban. The isobar is used to draw maps of atmospheric pressure. Yes. Normal atmospheric pressure equal what millibar at the sea level? 1013.25. This is keep, keep in your mind. The air's movement in the atmospheric atmosphere layer is the air's movement in troposphere. ها بيكون ايه بيربنديكولار ولا هوريزونتال ولا فيرتيكال ولا انون طبعا بيكون ايه فيرتيكال فيرتيكال ات مينز راسي يعني ذا دينستي اوف اير وات باي انكريسينج ذا اليفيشن اباف ذا سي ليفل طبعا دينستي ديكريس ليتس موف ذا سكند سلايد اباوت طبعا جلوبال وورمينج First video about global warming phenomena. You know global warming phenomena? Observe this video. The global warming phenomena is the continuous increase in the average temperature of the Earth's near surface air. This is global warming. Phenomena. The reasons behind increasing the concentration of carbon dioxide in the air are cutting trees, forest fires, and the burning of fossil fuel. Here we talk about reasons. Yani, what be? We have increase the carbon dioxide ratio or global warming. Of course, carbon dioxide. Yani, increase, increase comes from what? Cutting uh, trees, forest uh, fires, and burning of fossils. Most important greenhouse gases are carbon dioxide gas, chlorofluorocarbon compounds, methane gas, nitrous oxide, and water vapor. Eva, what are the most important greenhouse gases? Carbon dioxide, CFCS, chlorofluorocarbon, methane gas, CH4, nitrous oxide, N2O, water vapor, H2O. The greenhouse phenomena is the trapping of infrared radiation in the troposphere layer due to increasing of the greenhouse gases, which leads to global warming. Okay. Let's make activity or exercises about global warming again. Global warming. In this topic, we will learn about the causes and effects of global warming. The Earth is enveloped by the atmosphere, which extends up to 16 kilometers. There are various gases present, but the ones playing a vital role in global warming are carbon dioxide, water vapor, and methane. Earth receives most of its energy from the sun in the form of electromagnetic radiation, which has a very short wavelength and passes through the atmospheric gases unaffected. This radiation finally reaches the Earth's surface where it is absorbed and the surface releases infrared radiation with longer wavelength. This infrared radiation emitted by the Earth's surface is absorbed by the gases in the atmosphere. 
Partly, it passes through these gases and goes back into space. These gases absorb the infrared radiation and re-emit the energy as heat back towards the Earth's surface. This causes warming and greenhouse effect. The amount of greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide, methane, and water vapor have increased. So the long wavelength IR radiation emitted from Earth's surface cannot pass through the atmosphere and is trapped inside, thus causing global warming. How can we avoid global warming? We can increase our dependence on renewable energy sources. Prevent deforestation. Okay. Let's uh, answer the first question. The Earth is surrounded by what? Atmosphere? Lithosphere? <laughs> Hydrosphere? None. Taman. Atmosphere. What gas plays an important role in the global warming? Oxygen, methane, carbon dioxide, none. Akid, carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide allows what from the sun? Short wave radiation, long A and B, none of the above, taban short wave radiation. Carbon dioxide not al doesn't allow what radiation to pass? Infrared, ultraviolet, A and B, none infrared radiation to pass through. What radiation love, love. What radiation helps in the heating effect of the Earth's atmosphere? What radiation helps in the heating effect? Ultraviolet or infrared, both A and B or non infrared. The greenhouse gases are Taban Hnarfinum Kulu, oxygen, carbon dioxide, nitrous oxide, methane. Oxygen, carbon dioxide only. Nitrous oxide and methane only, yeah. nitrogen oxide and oxygen only, yeah. methane. Greenhouse effect keeps the Earth's temperature at 45, 40, 30 degrees Celsius, 20, 30 degrees Celsius. Gases that uh, contribute to the global warming as what are the gases of global warming? Carbon dioxide, methane, nitrous oxide, chlorofluorocarbon. CFCS and uh, halocarbons. Okay. Next, next slide about ozone layer. First video. The ozone layer is important to protect the living organisms from the harmful chemical effects of ultraviolet rays. Let's learn more about it and discover how it's formed. The ozone layer is located at the lower part of the stratosphere layer, between 20 and 40 kilometers above sea level. As it contains a suitable amount of oxygen, it can face the ultraviolet radiations coming from the sun and protect the living organisms from their harmful effects. Okay. Structure. The ozone layer consists of the ozone gas, which consists of three oxygen atoms combined together, forming an ozone molecule. But do you know how it's formed? Let's find out in the next label. Okay. At the beginning, the oxygen gas molecule absorbs the ultraviolet radiations, which breaks down the double covalent bonds between the two oxygen atoms, forming two free oxygen atoms. Each free oxygen atom combines with an oxygen molecule, forming an ozone molecule. Okay. Second. Video. Let's summarize what we have learned in this lesson about the ozone layer formation, importance, and reasons behind its erosion. 
The ozone layer is found in the stratosphere layer at a height between 20 and 40 kilometers above the sea level, and its thickness is 20 kilometers. The ozone layer contains ozone gas that contains three oxygen atoms, which is formed in two steps. First is the breakdown of the double bond between the oxygen atoms. Then each free oxygen atom combines with an oxygen molecule. The ozone layer is important in protecting the living organisms from the harmful chemical effect of the three types of the ultraviolet rays, near UVA, medium UVB, and far UVC. And there are some harmful effects that may cause the erosion of the ozone layer, such as chlorofluorocarbons, methyl bromide gas, halons, and nitrogen oxides. This erosion leads to the global warming, which has negative effects, such as the melting of snow of the two poles and severe climatic changes. And now we are done with summarizing the main points that we have learned in this lesson. Okay. Let's uh, meet first activity or exercise about the ozone layer. Ozone layer consists of what oxygen gas atoms? Ozone layer consists of what? Ozone gas. Ozone gas, O3. So three oxygen atoms. Next. Chlorofluorocarbon compounds are commercially known as Taban Ismum Eel commercially to Garian Ismu Ferion. Is the measuring unit of degree of ozone layer, measuring unit of ozone layer uh, due to the Dobson scientist called the Dobson unit. Nitrous oxide is greenhouse gas, Taban yes. Natural degree of ozone. 300, 500 Dobson? No, 300 only. From the pollutants of ozone, layer is what? Nitrogen oxide, carbon dioxide, methane, nitrous oxide, taban, nitrogen. Pollutants of ozone, layer, nitrogen oxide. Choose the old one, chlorofluorocarbon, nitrous oxide, halons, methyl bromide, taban, nitrous oxide. Next activity. Chlorofluorocarbon compounds are considered as what substance? Propellant substance. Thickness of ozone layer is about what millimeter or equal what Dobson unit under STB, thickness of ozone layer, three millimeter, or equal to what Dobson, 300 Dobson units under STB. This is very important to question. Ultraviolet rays are of three types. Uh, there is near, medium, far. Near ultraviolet, medium ultraviolet, far ultraviolet. Extinction of some polar animals is from the negative effects of global warming. Akid, sure. Ultraviolet rays split the ozone molecules in two free oxygen atoms. Two, no. Greenhouse gases are what? Carbon dioxide, chlorofluorocarbon, oxygen, methane, Carbon dioxide, chlorofluorocarbon, methane, not taban oxygen gas. Choose odd one, carbon dioxide, methane, nitrous, fuel, taban, fuel. Third activity about erosion of ozone layer. What of near ultraviolet rays penetrate the ozone layer? while in the medium rays don't penetrate the ozone layer. 100% uh, penetrate because it is near, it is uh, useful. While in the medium, 95% don't penetrate the ozone layer. CFCS chlorofluorocarbon are co commercially known as freon. 
what Dobson units is defined as one millimeter thickness, 100 Dobson. When oxygen gas molecule absorb ultraviolet radiation, it splits into three oxygen atom. Wrong. Thickness of ozone layer is compressed into three millimeter only if it is under normal pressure and zero Celsius temperature. Yes. What is the thickness of ozone layer if the ratio of erosion 25? Ratio of ozone layer 100 minus 25, 75%. Thickness, we multiply the ratio of ozone layer times the normal 300 divided 10 equal what, Dobson? Let's uh, turn or change to the next slide. Uh, we finished. This is very, uh, inshallah, yani simple. Study hard. Uh, thank you, middle two. Uh, study hard and uh, concentrate. And I'll forward you the homework for the global WhatsApp. Okay. Thank you very much.